Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channel today. Today is January the 23rd of 2023. I'd like to bring another prophetic word to you from the Lord that I hope will encourage your spirit. Before I do that, I have an announcement and that is that book three of the prophetic journals is now available. This book contains all the prophetic words that were shared through this channel during the year of 2022. It gives opportunity for those who haven't been printing these words off to have a hard copy of them so that you may study them, pray into them, and gain insight from them as to what the Lord is doing in the earth today. The Lord continues to speak to his people, and the words are often very encouraging because he is doing a wonderful thing in his people, in his church. But unfortunately, for those who do not know the Lord, things will become very difficult. And even for those who may think they belong to the Lord, but haven't really known him, possibly haven't been baptized with the Holy Spirit or born again, having only head knowledge of who he is, but not experiencing the power of his presence. This word today is a sober one for those who do not know the Lord intimately, and I hesitate to share it, but I believe the Lord wants us to understand what is taking place when we see movement all around us. This word today is titled, A Time of Separation. We know the Lord has been speaking about separating those who truly belong to him from those who may think they do, but do not understand the full gospel of Christ, which tells us we must be born again, or those who are imposters, pretending that they belong to the Lord. The Lord is shaking and shifting and in this process, he is bringing a great separation. We can continue to pray for those who do not know the Lord. And that is the heart of God, that we do that, that we reach out, that we bring the message of truth to the world. And so I hope in the light of that, this word encourages those who truly belong to the Lord and who have the heart of compassion of Jesus Christ to bring the salvation message to a lost generation. I hope you will be blessed as you hear this word today. I'll begin by reading scripture. 2 Corinthians 6 verses 14 through 18. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? What accord has Christ with Belial? Or what portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God with idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will make my dwelling among them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore go out from their midst and be separate from them says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing. Then I will welcome you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. This scripture reference speaks about the separation between those who are of the Lord and those who are not, between those who are godly and those who are living in a sinful nature. Those 
who live in the light of Christ and those who are in darkness. John 15 verses 1 through 6 I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up thrown into the fire, and burned. This scripture verse as well speaks of a separation between those who are engrafted into the Lord, who are in Him, and those who are not. But it goes on also to say that those who are grafted in Him will be pruned to bear more fruit. But those who do not remain in Christ are like branches that have died and withered and are only good to be thrown into the fire. Revelation 14 verses 6 through 8 then I saw another angel flying in mid-air, and he had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give Him glory, because the hour of His judgment has come. Worship Him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. This scripture passage speaks of a judgment that is coming between those who have come out of the world, come unto Christ to be united with Jesus, and those who are of the world, who defy the Lord, and who indulge in the adulteries of the world's system called Babylon. I'll begin reading this word. I am taking you through the fire, says the Lord. You will come out the other side, clothed and ready for the task ahead. I have been dealing with your heart in areas of misplaced affections. You will see that as you allow me to purge you, you will come through the fire unharmed. Great testings and trials are coming to the body of Christ. Their purifying effect will separate the wheat from the tares. Those who come through to the other side will be used greatly of me. I have made myself available to all who would partake of me. I have made my voice clear to all those who have ears to hear. This time of testing will be like no other, for in it everything that can be shaken will be shaken, and every false security will be loosed off the people. Only those who anchor into the Lord will be able to stand the flood waters that are coming upon the earth. I am asking every creature to bow down and submit to my Lordship in this day 
says the Lord. I am the hope of the nations, the bright morning star. I will guide those who look to me. I will direct them to safety. Do not rely on the arm of the flesh or on natural understanding, for I am about to confound the wisdom of the wise so that no one is able to depend on it. It will only lead to destruction. But those who put their trust in a supernatural God will enter into life. In this day, the truth is being separated from a lie. Deception is being exposed, and the people will have to choose between serving the Lord or man. The choice will be clear, and those who choose life will be brought into life, but those who choose to serve man will be thrown into utter darkness. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Every tree that does not bear fruit will be hewn down in this day. Only those who are green and full of life will produce fruit for the harvest. My life will flow through those who have offered themselves to me as a living sacrifice, and the fruit born of these will be abundant, says the Lord. Great are the mysteries of God to be revealed in this day. Bring in the fruit of the harvest, bring in the sheaves, for the barns are ready to receive them. They are being bundled up and brought in. They are being snatched up and plucked out of destruction and brought into the joy and liberty of the Holy Spirit. This is the day of the greatest ingathering the world has ever known. This is the day, says the Lord, when the tares are being bundled up and thrown into the fire, and the wheat is being brought into the barns. Many mock the movings of God in the earth today. They do not understand the times they live in. Their understanding is limited to human understanding, which is unable to comprehend the things of God. They do not see that the day of the Lord has come. Their hearts have been hardened and their eyes have been closed. They have functioned in a form of religion and have participated in the harlot's adulteries, serving Babylon. They have bowed down to worship religion. They have not known the Lord, but only a form of religion, having taken on her adultery with the world. Only those who are truly mine will escape her spell. They will be brought out of her grasp by the power of my spirit. They shall come out of her and be set free from her hold. Like a great procession through the land, my chosen ones will march out from under her grip and be brought into a living relationship with the Lord God. Great are Babylon's harlotries. Great are her powers to deceive and beguile. But Babylon is falling in this day, says the Lord. Her powers are being loosed and broken off the people, and they are being set free from her captivity. Repent, those of you who have been caught by the intrigue of Babylon. Repent of your adulteries and turn to the living God, for he alone is to be worshipped and adored. Unto him alone belongs all glory and honor and praise. He alone is worthy. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is highlighting the seriousness of this separation that is taking place. The testings are coming that will shake the nations. And only those who choose the Lord will come out unshaken, unharmed by the flood waters, unharmed by the flames of fire. They will be purified and set apart from the ungodly. 
This is the time of the harvest and of the greatest in gathering the world has ever known. But it is also the time when the tares will be separated from the wheat. The wheat will be taken into the barns, but the tares will be thrown into the fire. Those who refuse to leave Babylon, to repent of their sins and their adulteries with this world, will not survive this work of separation the Lord is doing in this day. The Lord's judgment has come, and it is time to make a choice between serving God and serving this world, Babylon the Great. I hope this word today encourages you to commit to the Lord Jesus Christ with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, to draw near to Him, to seek to be filled with His Spirit and set apart from the world. It is a day like no other. We are at the time in history when the words of the Lord are coming to pass, when the gospel is being preached to the ends of the earth, and the Lord is calling in those who would worship Him only. This is a day of excitement, but it is also a day of mourning, because those who refuse the Lord will be dealt with harshly. Let's all call upon the Lord in this day. May our spirits be reawakened to the reality of this day of the Lord, and may the shaking only prove to strengthen us in the God we trust. May we be of good courage in this day. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Be blessed of the Lord. Be strengthened and stand firm in Him. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.